hello hello everyone tuning in so i just want to talk about the the Bahrain grand prix the first grand prix of the season in the formula one season so it was a formality again basically uh, max verstappen took victory again and yeah man it's just i wish formula one was a bit more exciting you know it's like you know who's gonna win now isn't it so let's touch on the race Checking out the race, it was a good start by Max in it, and he had a, a bit of pressure from the three cars behind the two Ferraris and Sergio Perez, his teammate, and he managed to you know deal with it well, and he led from the first lap. But I mean, after after the first lap, there was no too much challenge to Max Verstappen. He was opening up a gap about zero point five seconds a lap. And I was listening to a commentary on BBC. Yeah. I just turned it off, man. I thought, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and waste my two hours, <laughs> you know, just watching the uh, paint dry, you know? I want to see co competitive sport, you know? Like, even when uh, Michael Schumacher was winning, it was competitive, you know? Even when Fernando Alonso was winning, he was uh, fighting with... He was fighting with Michael Schumacher when Fernando Alonso won his two championships. If you look at 18 Senna, he was fighting with Alan Prost and, you know, Nelson Piquet and them kind of drivers there, you know, uh, Nigel Mansell and that. So, there still has to be a little competitive element in Formula 1. And even if you look at the Mercedes success years, yeah, when Lewis won the championship in 2014 and 2015, it was a, champ it was a battle between Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, you know. And even against Valtteri Bottas when he won it in 2019-2020, yeah, it was it was a championship battles against Valtteri Bottas, even though Bottas didn't do so great. So, I'm expecting to see more competitive sport in Formula 1. And, you know, I just don't want Formula 1 to sell the, the fans this, like, they don't, I don't want Formula 1 to sell the fans what they're selling right now, you know. They must be able to make it competitive because there's good drivers like, you know, Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, Charles Leclerc, Sergio Perez, Lewis Hamilton. All these guys in a strong car can give Max problems, you know. But, you know, what? I'll give Max his credit respectfully. He's a very fast driver, very aggressive driver. And, you know, he does the job, you know, and that's the main thing. You know, your team will love you if you do the job, you know. So, I respect that, you know. And the, the race was good. And the only person that looked like he could challenge for anything was Fernando Alonso. He had a bit of pace. You know, he had a bit of pace. He came, overtook the Mercedes, and he overtook the Ferrari, and he got a third position, you know. So, Fernando Alonso got a podium there. So, congratulations to Aston Martin and Fernando Alonso for collecting a podium. And Sergio Perez done all right. I'm looking here, I'm looking at the highlights now. On lap 26, you got Max Verstappen 13 seconds ahead of Sergio Perez. So, you know, just to give you a rhythm of how, how the race kind of went, it was total domination by the world champion Max. And it just looks like another season where he's going to dominate. And at the moment, I don't see Mercedes making great, great changes where they're going to be able to, you know, catch up quickly and put pressure on red bull so yeah so yeah let me just run through the top 10 results so in first position you have max verstappen in the red bull racing and in second position position you have sergio perez he's in the red bull racing and then in third position you got fernando alonso good drive by him to finish in third in the aston martin in fourth position, you got the Scuderia Ferrari with Carlos Sainz in fourth. In fifth position, you got Lewis Hamilton with the Mercedes AMG Petronas in fifth. In sixth position, you got Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin. He had an injured he had an injured hand and he finished sixth. So good try by him. In seventh position, you got George Russell in the Mercedes AMG Petronas. In eighth position, you got Valtteri Bottas. In the Alfa Romeo, in ninth position, 
Yeah, in ninth position you have Pierre Gasly in the Alpine, which is a good drive for him. His first race with the Alpine, so it shows you that Pierre still has you know good driving skills. And then the surprise in the surprise package in the top ten is Alex Alexander Albon in the Williams. You know, yeah, I'm quite surprised that Williams are able to push and finish in the top ten. So yeah, it's a good look. On to the next Grand Prix. Take care. Okay.